Memorial Day, on Memorial Day, we have a Memorial Day celebration. It's an all-day event starting around 10 a.m. And, and closes out at 4 o'clock. Sometimes it's a bit, it's been difficult to get people to come in because it's Memorial Day. And although not everybody's off that day, a lot of people, it's a vacation day for them and they have picnics. It's the beginning of summer. We feel, and what we try to encourage people to, uh, to appreciate is that it's what Memorial Day is, Decoration Day. It's, it's a day to remember our, our veterans. What better place to do that than Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall? So we started this a few years back where it's more than just a memorial ceremony, which we do start the morning with. We then go out onto our front patio and lawn and try to have kind of an old fashioned get, get together. So, and it's open to the public, it's free, uh, the museum's free, there's concessions, uh, Pittsburgh Barbecue Company will be there um, selling their, their sandwiches. Um, we have beverages available and activities for children. Um, this year we're having, because it's the, the Civil War anniversary, 150th anniversary, um, we're having some special things that are focusing on the Civil War, which is kind of odd to say when we're standing in a building that was built for Civil War veterans. We were bigger than that and much more, much more than that. But for this particular event, we want to have a somewhat of a theme that's uh, dedicated to the Civil War because it's the anniversary. So that's Memorial Day itself, that's Monday. The most common thing that I get from veterans, and I'm a veteran myself, uh, 20 years in the Army, uh, is really just thank you. They're, they're appreciative of what they're seeing. Now granted, someone like myself, um, my, the war I was involved in was uh, Desert Storm. Um, but as I walk around, I look at some of the artifacts and just the building and what it stands for, not necessarily as a, as a veteran, um, but more of just a, as an American that appreciates what the past generations have, have done for us. And then as you get closer to my time, then I can start to relate. So uh, depending on what conflict you are in, a lot of the veterans can relate and they can, they're moved by, by what they see and what they feel. Um, but more importantly, I think it's when they realize what our mission is as a nonprofit organization, uh, what we are doing to keep this place dry and warm and lit and occupied and clean, um, it's for generations to come to continue to learn about what veterans have done for our country. So really it's just a thank you, it's an appreciation of what the building stands for and that we're continuing that same mission that started in 1910. You know, because it, it, it is interesting where we sit, we're sitting really in the middle of University of Pittsburgh's campus and a lot of people think that we are part, part of the, of the campus. campus. We're just we're, it's a great place to be, great neighborhood to be in, um, but we are located on 4141 Fifth Avenue, and um, you can find out a lot more information about us and upcoming events and how to support us and donate at our website, uh, www. If they still say that, they do they? Uh, Soldiersandsailorshall.org. Soldiersandsailorshall.org. And our phone number is 412 621. Four two five three. Uh, the museum's open Monday through Saturday, uh, ten to ten a.m. to four p.m. Occasionally, we have to close down for some either it might might be a, a holiday or some administrative matter that we have going on. But we you can find out any changes to our normal operating hours on our website. We do have a Facebook page. Uh, we are also on Twitter. But yeah, generally it's. It's four to, or 10 to four. Uh, veterans are free, and children, I believe, under five are free. University of Pitt students from the Oakland campus here with their ID card uh, can also get in for free. So one of the things that we are trying to do is, is get more of the students involved because since we are sitting in the middle of the campus, we don't want them leaving here at the end of their four years wondering what this place truly is other than a front lawn or a place maybe to come in and use the restroom. So we're trying to establish a partnership with them and, and educate them with some fun activities. And just, again, it's all about 
increasing the awareness. The nonprofit trust that's been operating this for 13 years is still pretty young. The building is, is very old and has been here for a long time. But unfortunately, a lot of people, even today, don't know what goes on inside here, what our mission is, and, and how they can help out. So anything we can do to, to enhance that. And they're missing a lot. They are missing a lot.